Hey, Fred, did you make the spikes or did they give them to you? Alfredo Sandoval Jr. wouldn't say where he got the homemade spikes he's accused of throwing at sheriff's deputies. Authorities think they know the answer. We do have um, several locations that have been uh, under surveillance on the west side uh, that we believe are are manufacturing the spikes. Hidalgo County Sheriff Lupe Trevino says the welded nails make for a deadly weapon against his deputies and other law enforcement. Smugglers use them to puncture tires during pursuits. We've learned simply having them isn't against the law. Using them as a weapon is. What, what we're hoping for is this, that the state legislature uh, recognizes that the spikes are a, a, uh, a weapon that can be easily used against law enforcement and also the, the general public in, 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 you know, as well. State Representative Aaron Pena authored a bill to make this threat against the law, period. He's filed what's being called the Caltrop legislation. Caltrop is a, a device used back in the Roman times and still used today by the drug cartels to evade uh, capture. The bill would make the manufacturing and possession of these tiny threats illegal. What it does is, is keep these people who are manufacturing them from manufacturing them. If they're caught doing it, there's a crime for simply doing that. It's about holding smugglers of people and drugs accountable. And the bill will now 